what is it, the 6th of uh, February. There's St Boniface Down looming up over Ventsner here on the south east coastline of the Isle of Wight. Gotta love Ventnor. Wander up old, old shoot, I think, towards Upper Ventnor. It's very overcast and gloomy sort of day today. It's very mild though. Uh, so the forecast is that um, rest of the country is going to be 
kind of uh, consumed, engulfed in a cold wind from the north. Just going to push a weather front down our way. Uh, but we're going to stay warm along the south coast, relatively warm for the time of year, which is nice overnight and into tomorrow. But tomorrow we're going to have this weather front sitting right over us along the south coast. So it's going to be wet and miserable overnight and potentially gloomy and probably or possibly raining for at least the first half of tomorrow. Cross the whole of the Isle of Wight and the south coast by the looks of it. So make the most of uh, getting some shots today because I'm not sure I'm going to get much video tomorrow, but we'll see. You never know. So anyway, let's go up Old Chute. We're kind of in the Graben now, which is the big sinkhole that goes along the back of Ocean View Road. This is kind of part of the Graben. Can't really see it. It's kind of a uh, covered in shrubs, elderberry and lots and lots of uh, buddleia and brambles. Bit of a thicket in there. Uh, what's that? Popping around in there. I haven't got my binoculars because uh, I cleverly left those in Ipswich by accident. That was one of the things that was in my uh, bag that I managed to leave at the train station in Ipswich. But thankfully, a friend went and managed to pick up. Almost lost me binoculars and proper microphones, but they're now stranded in Ipswich. But thankfully, I didn't lose them entirely. Anyway, I can't remember what got me onto that. Yeah, so the grabbing. <laughs> I'll show you a bit more of it when we get up the top. It's one of my favourite little uh, spots when I was young, when we used to have a house just on Ocean View Road, just behind that, that side of Old Chute, just over there. We used to have a house on Ocean View Road. I used to come up and down here an awful lot, including at night, to watch the foxes and badgers. Obviously, as a van lifer now, I can carry on living here, even though I've not got a house here anymore. Which is pretty cool. Well, I haven't really got a van apart from me. Stranded van. I really have to find a new van. Urgently. Uh, I don't know how windy it is, so I apologise for the wind noise. If it's becoming unbearable. plot still hasn't been built on the site of an old house that was knocked down I think and now it's just an empty plot which I don't think they've put anything on it yet so this is where old chute this track crosses over the graben so old chute used to be level here and now it dips down as you can see crosses the graben then rises up again this crack's been here for quite a long time, it's not new. But yeah, this is a sinkhole. You can see the bank on the left and the bank on the right. So the grabbing kind of, well, I'm standing in the middle of it now. It's where you can see that kind of reddish orangey, whatever it is, digger over there. That's kind of, Below that is the middle of the graben. And it kind of crosses over here through the old chute field, which is owned by the National Trust. Kind of dips down just along there as well. Let's go along this way. It's all used to be level, but you can see how much it's sunk into the sinkhole. Slab of a. Uh, well, slabs of concrete and stuff have all collapsed down into the sinkhole. Used to be a kids play area just here. There's the other side of the sinkhole there, the other bank. So it looks like Island Roads have been uh, filling in some of the gaps in this particular crack in the pavement. It's done very recently. It's already dipping in though, still moving. As you can see, 
it's hardly a proper job really you can really see the extent of the grabbing now going on to Newport Road now This is obviously where the road crosses the Graben. Pavement splitting up. Been a lot of movement here the last two or three weeks. These cracks weren't here, I'm pretty sure, last time I had a look three weeks ago. Check up on the old video. It's quite a busy, heavily used bit of road, this. I do like painting marks on the pavement, but uh, it's not really going to do the job. You can see where this wall split. That's what happens when you have a road crossing a sinkhole, I suppose. It's now seven minutes past four. It's uh, it's lovely to be back walking around Ventnor. I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> do uh, leave a comment. Why do you come and watch these videos? Is it to see Ventnor content, or are you looking? Uh, you're interested in the van life side of things, location independent living. They're the main things. Oh, and writing. Book writing and independent publishing. They're the main things I uh, put on this channel. Oh, the road is uh, cracking up a bit here. Pretty sure that's a newish. Uh, maybe it's not new. Maybe it's just opened a bit more. You do notice things when you've been away for a while. Maybe your imagination just runs a bit wild. <laughs> so why'd you come to this channel? Is it to see Ventnor? Is it to hear about van life? Is it to hear about writing? Uh, location independence? Let me know in the comments. And do uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to keep seeing content. Just coming down Bath Road at the moment, going towards Ventnor Bay. And yeah, if you want to buy me a coffee, do click the little link to buy me a coffee. That would be much appreciated and thank you to people that have already done that that's so kind of you it does help me um defray some of my costs of doing this these videos um 
God, it's a bit blowy now. I think the rain is going to arrive. Now, this crack is bigger than it was last time I came down. Maybe, maybe not. There's debris in these cracks, so probably not you. Always on the lookout for new ground movement, as we've seen up on Newport Road earlier. Let's have a look in the bay. Very blowy. So the rain hasn't arrived yet. I think it's on its way. Blooming marvellous. Lovely and peaceful. So I'm not sure when the council are finally going to get around to deciding what to do with this bit of wall that's collapsed. It's left this section of road closed for a few months now and they don't seem to be doing anything. I'm sure there's some sort of legal battle going on when they decide uh, who's liable and what on earth to do. I'm sure it's taken many, many, many meetings, lots of expensive feasibility studies. In the meantime, the wall continues to move and the uh, road remains shut. A lot fewer people come down to park in La Falaise. And um, local businesses suffer. But I'm sure they know what they're doing, the Isle of Wight Council. And those characters, Island Roads, because they're marvellous at their job. Hmm. Let's just hope they don't leave it until the autumn or something. Anyway, back to positive things. So it's now gone four o'clock. Uh, I think I'm going to head down, get a coffee in the spyglass, I think. And wait for the rain to appear. I think it's due about eight o'clock this evening, so I need to get up to the van before then. Oh, it's a bit blurry around here, so I'll... I think I'll leave you now because otherwise we'll all be blown out by the wind. So have a lovely evening, people.